Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a stocking filler under £5 gift guide. So I will basically be showing you all of the presents that I think are very cool that are under £5. So this video is a collab with Millie, Eleanor, Ellie and Emily and they are my internet best friends. So we're kind of doing a whole gift guide as one but we're like splitting it out. So I'm doing under £5, someone else is doing under £10, someone else is doing under £20, someone else is doing under £50 and it's just like a big gift guide and make sure to watch all of their videos. So guys, if we get to 50 likes in the first 24 hours, I will eat a tablespoon of flour and film it and put it on the internet. And let's get straight into the video. So the first gift that is under £5 is a mini Yankee candle. I'm not a big candle person, so I've only got one Yankee candle, but you can get a Yankee candle for someone who's loving candles at the minute. Like, I know loads of people that would love a Yankee candle for Christmas. Also, for under £5, you can get one of these pots to put the candle in. Right, so the next gift is a lip balm. These would be really good, because I know in winter, everyone gets chapped lips. Like, I, my lips get so chapped in the winter. I've been loving baby lips for a long time time I'd be surprised if we have never heard of baby lips because that's what everyone's going on about at the minute. Recently I've started using Nivea lip balms. So the next item I chose was makeup remover. I have the mm, mm, <laughs> I have the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing I have the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water and this is amazing. I know loads and loads of people that have this already. So I think I've got the medium bottle or maybe it's a big one but I know you can get really big ones and really small ones like travel size ones for a pound. And also I know that the brand Simple has really good makeup removers as well. Next up I thought of like makeup brushes or beauty blenders. I know that these are really cheap in Primark. I suppose if someone already has some makeup brushes they might not want any more but then sometimes they can get so dirty they kind of ruin them. Now I don't actually own any of the product that I'm going to show you next. I repeat, I don't actually own any of this stuff this is what you should get me. <laughs> so what I'm talking about here are pocket bats. You can get so many different scents and there's loads of Christmas ones as well. It's basically just a hand sanitizer if you don't know what it is. The trouble is they don't sell them on Britain so you probably should get them off eBay or something like that. Or you can just order it from the Bath and Body Works website. Next I just thought you could get someone some chocolate or sweets. Just anything you can eat really. Yeah I don't have any so I couldn't show you any. I thought maybe the best chocolate to get someone was a Kinder Egg because as well as the chocolate you also get a toy on the inside. Also, that would be a really good stocking filler for someone who's under 10 years old. Or any age at all, you know. Now, Millie Ray recommended me to show you something from Lush, so I'm going to show you the shower jelly. Of course, Lush is famous for its bath bombs and things like that, but I don't know if many people know about this. It's... Look. Oh my gosh. Oh. It smells so good. It's basically slime, but you like put it all over your body. Oh, that sounds disgusting, but it's actually so cool. Right guys, before I got this, I didn't like showering at all. I hated it, I never showered, ever. But now I shower about three times a day because I love it so much. Now this is an idea, I saw it in a shop and I thought you could just basically make this yourself. So you get a jar and then you put in some flour, cocoa powder, sugar, and then you write instructions on the side saying, add egg and butter. Sounds really strange, but basically it's a DIY kit cake and you can just make it really quickly because all of the ingredients are already measured and in a jar. All you need to do is add egg and butter and you've got your own chocolate cake. Another idea I had was to give someone small toiletries. I thought it would be a good idea to get someone maybe like a hand cream or something because I don't actually own any and I don't think many people do because it's something that you tend to get as a gift. I guess it is quite similar to pocket backs but it makes your hands really moisturised and it's just so nice to have, especially around winter. Also get people like mini bars of soap. I always think they're really cute. If you've got a friend and they're in year 11 and they're doing their GCSEs or maybe they're doing their A-levels soon, you could get them revision material, like really cheap pens. Buy you can get a pack of biros, right? For You can get a pack of 10 biros for a pound. A pound for 10 pens. I know right now I'd really love some post-it notes because I keep running out. But they're really, really cheap. Just get them from your local supermarket. Give them to your friend on Christmas Day. I'm sure they'll be thrilled. So the last present I thought of is kind of DIY, like the cake. So basically they're called coupons and I'm pretty sure I've done it to my mum before. These are probably better to give to an older relative, like a grandma or a parent, because they... Mm. You'll find out why. So basically what you do is you get little bits of card and they're coupons, so you could write on them, do the dishes, or... Give me a hug, I don't really know. So when you're in your room doing nothing, like... 
I do every day. Your mum could just come to your room and give you the coupon and say, you said you'd do the dishes. Now I'm going to spend this coupon and do the dishes right now. I hope you get what I'm saying because I think this is a really cool present and it costs zero pounds. Thank you so much for watching this video. I've really enjoyed it and sorry about the lighting by the way because it's raining. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to check out the girls' channels and look at their videos as well because I'm sure they've got some really great ideas for their gifts. Make sure to tweet me or Instagram me if you do any of these ideas because I'd love to see them. Remember to subscribe, like and comment down below and I'll see you next Sunday with another video. Bye!